Hey guys, it's Alana with the Friendly Band Sunshine Loom. Today we're going to be making the Blossom Band. Before we begin, let's pick out our colors. I already have my rubber bands organized in the lid that I keep underneath my Sunshine Loom. Today we're going to be using purple, and green. Okay, let's get started with step one, setting our pattern. We're going to start over on the start side, and we're going to place a green from peg 24 to 1, and then 24 to 48. Then we're going to go forward on both sides from 1 to 2, and 48 to 49, and then go inward from 2 to 26, and 49 to 26. And this is the outline of a basic blossom, and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around to our sizes. So we're going to go up and to the right, up and to the left, forward, forward, in, and in. And just keep going until we reach our sizes. So now we're approaching our sizes. I'm going to be making a small bracelet today. So I'm going to go and stop on this blossom I'm working on here, right before peg 17, my small size. Now I'm going to go back over to the start side, and we're going to fill in the middles of the blossoms. So you're going to go forward from peg 24 to 25, and then we're going to go in a counterclockwise rotation from the center to all of the pegs around. So purple up to one, to two, 26, 49, and 48. Now we're going to put a double loop on the middle. So attach, twist, and pull back over. Now we're going to go to our next blossom. I'll show you again. We're going to go forward with green, right, up, forward, left, and down. Now we're going to put our double loop. Always remember your double loop. So you attach, twist, and another way you can pull over is with both hands, and you make sure that this X is across the peg there, and then pull across. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So I forgot this double loop, but that's all right. You can just go back and do it if you forgot. It's perfectly fine. Just make sure at the end that you have all of your double loops done. Attach, twist, and pull over. Okay, so we're on our last blossom. We're going to do our double loop on the middle. So attach, twist, and loop over. And what's nice about our peg design is we have extended caps on both of the prongs. They go out on this end here. So it grabs all of these rubber bands and you don't have to keep pushing these down. 
We're going to attach, twist, and loop on our last peg. And this is what your sunshine loom should look like after step one, setting our pattern. Now that we've set our pattern, it's time for step two, locking the pattern in place. So we're going to grab our FB hook and head over to the hook side. And we're going to hook the centers of the blossoms. So you're going to pull back the double loop, turn your hook, and grab the top rubber band. If you remember, we went, when we were placing our pattern, we went from here all the way around to this side. Now we're doing the opposite when we're hooking. We're starting here at the end and going back around to the green. So we pull our first rubber band over because it was on top, and then you pull back your double, double loop and grab the rubber band that goes to this corner. I think it's easier if you pull back the double loop and grab from the side. So again, we're going to hook from the middle, grab the top rubber band, and pull over. And this could happen to you too. If your rubber band slides up your hook like this, pull it down and there's actually a little lip that it rests in in our FB hook. And pull over. If your rubber band slips and comes off entirely, that's all right. Just attach it to the peg, put your hook through the double loop, and pull it back over. Okay, we're finishing our last blossom from the center. We're gonna go back over to the hook side and we're going to do the outside now. So we're going to push back the rubber bands from the double loop and from this band that we pulled forward. And we're going to grab the top rubber band going over to the right and push back and grab the next rubber band going to the left. And then we're going to keep hooking forward, pushing back everything but the bottom rubber band. And that's going to pull forward. And then we're going to pull forward to the center. And again, hook forward. Now this can be the tricky part right here in the middle. There are a lot of rubber bands on this peg between the blossoms. But if you use your FB hook and push back everything and then let two rubber bands pull forward, these are the two you're going to be hooking. So grab the top one of those two and pull to the inner circle and then to the outer circle. And then we're going to hook forward normally, finishing the blossom and then just continue all the way around until we reach the end. Okay, so we've finished with step two, locking our pattern in place, and this is what your sunshine loom should look like. Now we're ready for step three, removing our creation. 
So you're going to stick your hook through all of the rubber bands on peg number 24. And you have two options here. You can either put a, a single rubber band through all of these and then attach your FB link, or you can just pull all of the rubber bands and slide on your FB link to all of these. Then I'm going to replace my hook and just gently tug from side to side, removing my creation. What's nice about the sunshine loom is our circular design means that you don't have to put any extensions on this bracelet for it to go all the way around your wrist. So this is a full length bracelet and once we get to the last blossom, we're going to attach our FB link onto this last peg here. So you're going to pull back all of the rubber bands on this peg and pull over your FB link and just slide it on. And when you pull it like this, you create tension and the FB link slides on easier. And then we're just going to pull these last couple bits off. And there you have it. That's the Blossom Band from the Friendly Band Sunshine Loom. Bye guys, see you later.